The eighth chapter and the fifth verse. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. This this is referring to um, the uh, coming war of Armageddon found in the book of uh, Revelation 16 chapter. Also known as uh, the third the World War Three, which the, which is the, to be the war to end all wars, and that would usher in the kingdom of heaven from the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, and the and angels destroying this uh, present day system. system or worms and establish um, worms represent corrosion or the destruction of things, man. If you have a person that dies, let's deal with human beings. I mean, if you have a human being and the human being dies or passes away, their spirit leaves their body. You take that body and you put that body in, well, here in America, they put the body in a coffin or a casket and they put it in the ground six feet under and after so many years, that body decays and breaks down. What comes out of that body? Worms. So worms represent decay or erosion or destruction. All right, brothers, so in uh, Revelation, the 8th chapter, in the 11th verse, when it speaks about Wormwood, what is that speaking about? Revelation, chapter 8, um, verse 10. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Now, the term wormwood basically means contamination. Now, the scripture calls it bitter, but it's using it in a bitter as a sense of not sweet. Revelation 8 and 10. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the waters. It says, And the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven. What that's talking about, that's talking about the nuclear missile. The nuclear missile that fell from heaven, it said it landed in the waters and the waters became bitter. Right now, the word wormwood, which I'm, I'm going to read the scripture again, it's, in, it's found in the Bible, and, and we're going to expound on it a little bit more to, to give you a clear understanding of what the scriptures is talking about when it mentions wormwood. Now, in the book of Revelations, chapter 8, uh, I'll start at verse 10 and read to 11. It says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it was a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the of waters. That star, great star, is talking about is the thermal. So 
this is Revelation chapter 8, verse 8. It says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood, right? So it says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire. See, that great mountain represents America. And the Bible is known as Babylon the Great. Because according to the, to the Bible, God is going to destroy America with fire. Okay, this is our Revelation chapter 8, verse 10. It says, And a third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon a third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So it says, uh, and the third angel sounded, and it fell a great star from heaven. Now, that star that fell from heaven is talking about the nuclear destruction. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a, a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Now the word Wormwood means bitter. And you can go back. What was that back? What was that early 80s when it when it was Chernobyl? When that that disaster happened when the, the nuclear nuclear radiation disaster happened. All right, that's actually a foreshadowing of the nuclear fire that's coming to America.